Welcome back to BBN tonight. Trey Mitchell is the 2024 version of a one and done at Kentucky as a grad transfer who has played at UMass, then Texas, then West Virginia, and now ultimately in the bluegrass. He's been there, done that with this sport, but that doesn't mean he hasn't started new traditions along the way. This year, homemade breakfast at his mom, Aaron's house. The morning of every home game, he gets to pick the menu, eggs, a protein and a carb, but rarely is there ever any basketball talk. Aaron says that's because, quote, there's so much more to Trey than just basketball. So much more to be proud of. Leadership has been Trey Mitchell's calling card for the better part of this season. He's one of the leaders on our team, one of the older guys who he know like, what to expect in certain games and just how to be more patient, how to be more calm. So he definitely brings a lot to the team. I just look at him as a dog and a winner. Perhaps never more apparent than it was in the swamp. Interacted with the student section a little bit there to, to get their attention. I knew we were down a little bit. Part of it was was to just kind of get people to, to focus on me a little bit more, to, to focus their heckling on me just a little bit, to stay away from my guys and then free their minds up a little bit and let them just start attacking how they did. Ask any of those freshmen, and I'd bet all of them would use the word leadership in their description of Trey. But that's not the first word that comes to mind for everyone. I think he like keeps kind of weird. He is a little bit strange. <laughs> to everyone, he's Trey Mitchell, but to us, he's just like the annoying brother. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. I'm a, little, I'm a little weird sometimes. Trey's family moved to Lexington with him this season, providing a sense of normalcy in an environment. There's, there's so many passionate people and, and so many good people that you just meet throughout the whole place. That can be anything but normal. There's a love here that's just like, it kind of, it almost overwhelms you sometimes. What does it mean to you to have them in Lexington? Uh, just to, to have them close, have that support system that's just right there. Like, no matter what kind of game I have or, or what kind of day I'm having, I know that I can always go back to them and they'll be there. Be in a game and look over to the side and just see them there. Like, that, that's, that's enough for me just to, to know that they're there supporting me. And it just gives you another boost of confidence and, and peace at what you're doing. Confidence and peace. It's a thoughtful pair of words articulated by someone who, when he's not being called weird, is credited with having those specific attributes. I think he makes people feel safe and calm. Like I just, and I, everybody says it. When he walks in, it's just sound like he just makes everybody calm and you know he's loyal and he's trustworthy. So I feel like no matter what he does in life, he's going to succeed. Kind of shy. He's not really outgoing. Well, he's very like thoughtful though. He's a very thoughtful person. Yeah, he's so genuine, like he's real. And I always say, like, if you ask him something, you're gonna hear the truth. Whether you want to, you know, whether you want to or not, hard truth over a soft lie, always. We've always been a family like that. Trey calls his mom Erin his life's greatest influence. She has supported me through everything and and she has provided me with so many opportunities to play this game. She sacrificed so much just for for me to be on the court. Our upbringing and the way that she taught us and raised us has just prepared me for every moment that I've been in. Including this moment. I think that's learned behavior. He's a leader because he's had good leadership, you know, from, you know, right out of the womb to 16 years old. He had, you know, Aaron there taught him, you know, this family doesn't quit. This is how hard we work. We get tremendous grades. And then I was fortunate enough to be able to come into his life, you know, for the last six, seven years. Um, but we've taught him how to lead and how to set examples and all of that. You know, he's like, God got you if nobody else does. You know what I mean? So he just follows that. And Kentucky's been good for him as well. Just like having the, you know, the freshman team like look up to him and like be there and that probably makes him feel a little bit good too. He's my little brother, you know what I mean? So like I've watched him grow and develop into like, this wise man, you know, it's really nice to see other people look up to him and like also him be confident in his leadership because I watched my brother lose a little bit of confidence at one point in his college career. So I feel like seeing him have that back is my favorite thing. Do you feel like that's been the case this year? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've been through some things in the past that have, have altered my view on things at times, but um, I would say over the past two years, West Virginia and here, I've, I've been able to gain 
another level of confidence. When, when you do that, it starts to just build in you and you start to really understand what you're capable of doing and that something that happened to you in the past isn't really what defines you moving forward. When I met him, I said, you know, God didn't make you 6'9 not to play basketball, but he also didn't give you that brain not to get a great degree. I said, you can be a millionaire. Will that be in the NBA? Will that be overseas? Will that be as an investment banker? Like, he's kid's brilliant, so I want him to achieve his dream. Trey doesn't know what his future holds. No one does. I don't care what he does as long as he's happy, you know. I really believe one day when he's done playing, I can really see him coaching. But he does know who's got his back. He's Rocky Balboa, but that's his Adrian, you know what I mean? It's mom and son instead of, you know, husband and wife, but it's that. She's the one. He's not going anywhere if she doesn't have a good feeling about it. He's not doing anything if she doesn't have a good feeling about it. But there's no doubt about it. That's his person. I'm in a position where I'm able to provide for my family, and that's all I really wanted. You know, that's just to make their lives easier. I try to be an example for, for my younger sister, especially, that no matter what's thrown at you, you can get past it. And that there's people around you that love you and, and are willing to be there for you. And it's just, it's just an amazing position, a, a blessing from God that I'm able to, to do what I can for them. Loved having the chance to talk with each of them. I also got the chance to meet his grandma at the game on Saturday. <laughs> she wanted me to say his grandparents are so proud as Aww. well. His older sister, Justice, also wanted to talk about the fact that it's been so great getting to watch him become Uncle Trey to her young son. And I think that's a neat part of this story as well. Just an awesome yeah. family and great to see that love and support that they have for their son. And we'll have more on the rest of the seniors this yes. week. More on the cats after this.